let's have some beer. What be going down, people of the world? Thank you so much for joining me for yet another Daily Drink Vlog. My name is Redbeard, and for the beer of the today... We have got a bottle of Rodenbach, or Rodenbach, something Bach, Grand Cru Flanders Red Ale. Yes, indeed. This particular beer is supposed to be sold, I want to say six packs, it could possibly be four packs, but there are nice people that work at the LCBOs that let me buy just one. This has a, has a full on, no, that's a fucking expiry date, okay. Yes, indeed. This particular beer is supposed to be sold as part of a six pack, I want to say, possibly a four pack, but some of the people at the LCBO are nice and let me buy singles. You know, I don't want to buy a six pack of some beer that I have no idea. I don't know what a Flanders Red Ale is, and this is from Belgium, so it could be kind of freaky. They have a best before date of, I want to say that is March 25th. 2019, so it should be just fine. They don't have a brood on date, but I'm assuming it's meant to be aged a bit. If it's 2019, that's a that's a ways away. Let's crack her open. I think I can just get through this foil. Might get a little bit into the beer, but yummy foil and beer. Why not? Oh, I'm starting to get a little pissed off at my inability to hit that. Let's see what we got. Some head on there. I don't. I'm Belgium. I don't know. We'll swish. See if anything comes of that. It looks like a decent red ale. Let's get a picture. Yeah, she's definitely been on the dark side, but not you know super dark. Definitely has that nice redness to it. Ooh, it's like a little. It's like it has a soul or something. I don't know. Unlike me, I'm a ginger, soulless ginger. Apparently, whenever I steal a soul, I gain a freckle. I don't know. People say weird things about gingers. That has an unusual smell. It almost smells kind of funky. Let's give her a shot. That is a little funky. That's got a bit of a tartness to it. That's, that's weird, but it's actually kind of good. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, I like that. It's really, really different than like a run-of-the-mill sour kind of beer that I've had before. I don't even know how to describe that, really. Uh, Rodenbach Grand Cru is an exceptional Flemish red-brown ale that owes its fresh and sour taste and complex fruitiness to its lengthy partial maturation, maturation, mature, I don't pronounce that damn word, in wooden oak casks. And that was written by Rudy, this is really small, Rudy Ge Gequire, the brewmaster. Interesting. This is how the brewery is actually called. I'm not sure if that'll even come in there if I can get it close enough. Not really. If I get it to focus, it's too far away. The first word's like right down there. It's Rodenbach, and it's the way they say B R O U W E R I J is, I'm assuming, brewery in Belgium. Really interesting. Um, keep in a dark and refrigerated place. 6% alcohol, as opposed to all those refrigerators that have a light on all the time. It's a walk-in fridge, might I? So much of the rambling going on. Um, contains barley malt. Contains gluten. Don't drink when you're pregnant. Recycle the bottle. Won some World Beer Awards. Awards. Yeah, it's, it's, I've never had a Flemish red ale before, apparently. I don't know if I... Did I do it? I can't remember. I think I didn't do it right yesterday, so bring it. Screw it. In its ear. Cheers, everybody. Let's do this. I think I did, because I did take two drinks. 
don't know what's going on. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, well rehearsed. Well rehearsed. A little piece of the foil that didn't go in the beer. That's nice to see. Although maybe it is in the beer. I just can't see it yet. Who cares? All right, that was Rodenbach. Rodenbach. Blah, blah, blah. Cheers. Dot Rodenbach. Dot B E slash E N. Although I'm pretty sure you don't put the E N, it comes up and asks you in a couple different languages if you're 18 or whatever. So if you choose the language you can read, the website will be in the language that you can read. Yeah, that's right. Untap reading for this beer 3.82 out of 5 overall. Apparently 35 IBUs. Really? They're balanced out really, really well with that. This sticker's coming off. Really, really well with the kind of sour fruity notes. That's a, I, I almost wish I had bought in the uh, four or six pack that it comes in. I might have to go and do that. 99,319 ratings on Untapped. That is bloody insane. As it breathes in the glass, it improves. Deadenately sour. A bit grapey and actually balanced. I'm pretty sure you meant to hit the F key, not the D key. Deadenly. People that don't proofread things before they put it out there for the world to see, they make me laugh a little bit. It's just the way I am. Pretty interesting. Big bottle with a cork. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, I think on here... Yeah. It comes in a big bottle with a cork if you want. That's actually really cool. they got a bunch of really kind of neat looking beers here. This is red fruit something. I don't know what that is. Aged in oak folders. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, this is definitely the first of your beers I've ever tried. Roden, Roden, whatever your Bach is, I like it. I want to try more of them now. Very full mouth feel and then concentrates in the center of the tongue. Aged three years, amazingly sour, worth a try. Yeah, apparently you can, I guess, age that, eh? I wonder if the sour gets stronger? I am going to buy four, six, whatever pack this comes in, and age at least one of the bottles for a little while. Yes, I am. Mmm. It's, like I said, really different. I bet if I wasn't alone at Funk Fest and could have stayed longer and drank more, there probably would have been something there like this. Because there were so many sour, tarty beers there. And I didn't try nearly as many as I wanted to. Because I was alone. I had to drive. I couldn't get drunk. You know, know your limit. Stay within it. I can have a couple beers and still be okay to drive. I know that. I've been pulled over by a ride program after having a couple beers. And they were very complimentary of how coherent and fine I was. And I didn't blow over the first time ever taking a breathalyzer. I am rambling like a bastard right now. Sorry. <laughs> Great beer. 98 overall, 93 for the style, 2,697 ratings. And that bottle looks nothing like that bottle. Look at that. What, that, what are you doing? Who was that? Get over there. There you go. Look at that. That doesn't look like this bottle at all. That was kind of weird. I can't even see the damn X. <sighs> yep, I'm having a great time. I hope you're having a great time. I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> yeah, people are uh, big fans. Big fans indeed. Extremely refreshing on a hot 30 degree day. I, I bet. Yeah, like th this is. I imagine it'll still be okay. Kind of warm, but. Yeah, I, I like my beers to be chilled. If. Or not if, but as 
any long time ish viewer would know. 4.29 out of 5 on Beer Advocate. 92.9% of the people liked that beer. 4,500, no, 4,057 is the number of ratings. I like it. I are a fan. I'm not sure, but I want to say that Belgium, like, I don't know if they're allowed to put any of, I don't know where that coaster is, like cool Lake of the Woods coaster with all that list of shit that people can put in beer. Isn't the Bavarian purity law or something like that of something, some of some date that made it so they have, they can't have that? I don't know. I didn't look into that. Give me just a second. It's the Bavarian Purity Law of 1516, which stated that only hops, water, and barley were allowed to make beer. And then they eventually added yeast into it too. But yeah, Bavarian is actually German. So these guys, I looked at, I can't find anything about them being super, super stringent with that. So I don't know. Drink number last. I really like that beer. Rodenbach, Rodenbach, Bocky Bach, your Grand Cru Flanders Red Ale rating. That's a nine. Ingredients list was actually ingredients list. It'd be a 9.5. I'm a big fan and I'm going to have more of that beer. And that's going to do it for today's daily drink vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then smash that like button. You want to see more of my videos? Smash that subscribe button. That's the same thing. Put the comments in the box down below. Thanks again. And I'll be back with another daily drink vlog tomorrow. A peace out. Goddamn fruit fly buzzing around the entire time I was doing that vlog. And I, I put him out of my mind for like the first time ever. But now I'm going to hunt him down.